So I'm gonna make some pumpkin seed milk. I like to eat raw pumpkin seeds and they have a very rich flavor to it. It reminds me of a whole milk taste. So I figured uh, I'd try making a pumpkin seed milk and see uh, what it tastes like. There are various recipes online. I'm gonna try to make something super simple. Uh, what I have here is one cup of uh, pumpkin seeds, raw pumpkin seeds that I've soaked in the water for about four hours or so. I don't think that's necessary to do, uh, but uh, I did it anyway because one of the recipes I saw suggested it. Uh, some recipes recommend using vanilla or agave syrup to perhaps give it a little bit of extra flavor, uh, which I'm not going to do. Uh, it's going to be very simple, very plain, uh, and just to see how I like it. And then maybe I'll start adding, you know, uh, vanilla or agave syrup or what have you to give it a little more flavor as uh, I just wanted to see what it tastes like all by itself. So it is all done soaking for about four hours. Again, you don't have to do this. Uh, and perhaps if you have like a high powered blender Vitamix like this, that's even less necessary, but again, you know, I said, what the heck, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, so one cup of raw pumpkin seed goes into the blender. And then I over here, I have two and a half cups of water. Again, uh, the, I think this can vary depending on your taste. Uh, if you want more rich or thick uh, milks, then you would use a little bit lower. Uh, if you want you know, a little bit uh, more liquid, more thin uh, milk, then you could use more. Uh, I'm going with two and a half cups of water for one cup of soaked pumpkin seeds. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay, it's in there now. Gonna put on the cover. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on at low. Gonna slowly ramp it up to the 10 dial here on my Vitamix and then put it on high for about a minute. Okay, so I don't think I ran that for like a full minute, uh, but it seems like it's all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Let's pour it in, a cup of water. Now, there is a you know, possibility that if you wanted to not keep those, uh, sort of the, the powdered or, you know, powdered or like, a, mushy pumpkin seeds you could use like a cheesecloth or something to drain that out but I don't know I, li I like I like pulp and you know something more strong uh, than just liquid I guess so this this looks like what I sort of expected it to be or hoped it would be when um, and uh, let's see how it tastes Okay, it's got a nice creamy taste and flavor to it. Um, tastes pretty much just like the, the raw pumpkin seeds um, I, I eat. So again, this is without any flavoring like vanilla or uh, agave syrup. So yeah, I like it. Well, if you tried. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.